Spiders, because they'll eat pretty much anything, um, they can kind of, they're kind of all-purpose uh, predators. And so they can, they can help with household pests, they can help with agricultural pests, and they're really kind of, um, they act as kind of a reserve of predators that are kind of on guard and ready. Spiders are actually pretty diverse in how they eat, so some of them will build a web and they'll just sit and wait for something to come in and crash into the web and then they'll go down and attack it. But other spiders don't need a web to catch prey, so things like jumping spiders or wolf spiders, they just actively forage and hunt for things. So um, jumping spiders, for example, will stalk their prey. They're very they're visual hunters, so they'll stalk it and just kind of jump on it like a cat would. Spitting spiders are common in Florida, and they actually will stalk their prey and spit a sticky glue onto the prey, which immobilizes it, and then they'll go in and feed on it. So that's a pretty different strategy than a lot of other spiders use. Yeah, so there's one species that's relatively common in Florida. They'll actually attack, um, they'll, they'll eat anything that comes their way, but they have an, a special affinity for ants, so they'll actually attack the ant. So if you don't like ants in your home, having a couple of these spiders around is pretty great. If you find a spider in, in your house, the best thing you can do is just leave it there and ignore it or, or uh, watch it and observe its behavior because they're actually pretty interesting. Um, most spiders are not harmful in any way. If you don't necessarily like to share your living space with spiders, you can just kind of take a little cup, put it in a cup and bring it outside. Yeah, so really any spiders are a benefit to have in your garden. Um, you know, if the, the best thing, the best case scenario would be to have um, a community of spiders in your garden. So you'll have some that are building webs and catching the flying things. You'll have other ones that are kind of running around on the ground in the garden that are catching pests that might be walking on the ground. One reason that um, having spiders as biocontrol agents or thinking about them as biocontrol agents instead of spraying for them is that when you, when you spray a certain area, you tend to kill off a lot of the life that's there. And so that kind of leaves an opening for another pest to come in. Um, and reproduce and then there's nothing, there aren't spiders or other um, predators there to control it. But when you just kind of um, avoid spraying in a particular area and you have a lot of uh, predators, you can kind of build up the populations of predators and that kind of prevents you from having uh, these sudden outbreaks.